this controller runs so CPP. Here, it controls a light. Imagine you can use this controller to connect any VC to the internet. Or imagine any other application. In this video I show you a library that brings OCPP support to the ESP8266. Hi, I'm Matt. Currently I'm developing ESP8266 OCPP, a library that implements OCPP 1.6J smart charging profile. Check this project out on GitHub, you can find the link in the description below. The scope of this library covers sending and receiving OCPP messages. It works with callbacks to notify your client code about new OCPP events. In addition to that, it implements the core functions of OCPP, like managing charging profiles or capturing meter values. To demonstrate this library, I've built a little GPIO-based charger using the Node MCU. All peripherals are simple switches here. The type of peripherals is not relevant to the library. I could have also used PWM or UART here, for example. Let's try it out. I loaded the example sketch one connector EVC from the GitHub repository and adapted the Wi-Fi and OCPP login credentials. In this test, the charger connects to a Steve instance. While I upload the sketch, I give you a brief overview of the setup. The ESP8266 controls a relay. It connects or disconnects a little light to or from a 5 volt power source. The switches on the left simulate the user input. More on this later. Now the sketch is running and the ESP8266 successfully connected to Steve. Now let's simulate an ordinary charging session. One means vehicle is ready to charge. Two means charging session authorized. And the light goes on. You can see that the charging session is engaged. Three means vehicle draws energy, which replaces a current meter on the board. It triggers a status notification message. So on your charge point management system, you can authorize the charge point and see its current state. There you can see that it also transmits the meter values. Now let's go a little further and set our own charging profile. In the Steve control panel, I select the charging profile and send it. It takes a moment and the ESP8266 accepts the operation. In the console you can see the original OCPP message from Steve. The ESP interprets it and prints its internal model. The first period of the schedule allows full charging. After 10 seconds the profile forbids charging and the relay will turn off. 10 seconds later the device gets full charge power again and the light turns on. In the next step the schedule limits the power. It is implementation dependent what happens there. This GPIO-based charger can't enforce the restriction because it lacks a control pilot. So let's see what it does. I hope you liked this demonstration. For technical details or an integration guide, please visit the GitHub page which I will keep up to date. See you next time.